Has this ever happened to you? Pew, pew, pew. Or this? Tactical nuke incoming! Everyone knows the Hulk's weak spot is its tiny little head that is way too hard to hit sometimes, but there's another spot that you can shoot flamer hulks to basically disable them and not have to worry about them until you take care of some of the other enemies. And same with devastators, and I even got a couple tips for the tanks in this video. So today we're going to be covering how to disable robots. This will be by no means a fully comprehensive guide. We're only gonna be covering some robots and we're only gonna be covering some things I've been doing in my game. I'm sure there may be a few other spots yet to be explored. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas and how this is very useful when the situation calls for it. It's not something you need to focus on or do every time, but there are some situations where this is much better than going for headshots. Also, I'd like to point out that you can shoot bug legs off to make them limp, and maybe I'll explore this kind of video for bugs. So if you want to see that, be sure to like and subscribe to spread my content to other hell divers, and let's dive right in. So this tactic is very useful for disabling certain enemies and making them nearly useless so that you can focus on other enemies and come back and kill them much easier a little bit later on. Like I said, everyone knows the Hulk's eye is its weak point, but especially the Flamer Hulk can be extremely hard to hit in the eye when he's running at you just because the way he bobs up and down. So what you want to do is when you see them from a long distance and that eye is even smaller once again, shoot out their leg. This will cause them to start limping and you can get a safe distance away from that flamethrower. Now this can be done in many ways. It's a one shot, uh, shot for rockets, which is probably the best weapon to do this since it's a giant target. And for medium support weapons, it's not as fast. It'll take about five seconds from a laser cannon, four shots from an auto cannon, five or six shots from the sniper rifle and so on and so forth. I would say this is most useful if you see them at a very long range and then you'll have time to shoot it for five seconds with a laser cannon, but it definitely can be used in a pinch. Now, alternatively, you can also just shoot its flamethrower arm right off, which takes about the same amount of shots for each of these weapons as it does to the leg. However, when trying out the auto cannon for this tactic, I realized that if you shoot its flame arm while it's winding up the shot, it actually stuns it and cancels the flamethrower shot altogether. So the auto cannon stonks keep going up. But you could do this with a sniper while it's chasing you since it's still a very large target and easy to hit. And this came in clutch for me earlier. And again, rocket launchers should one shot any of its body parts. But since the eye is so small to hit, I think going for the leg with the rocket is still one of the best plays since it's such a large target and makes it immobile and you are kind of limited on ammo. I know that I've shot it in the eye with a rocket launcher multiple times and it just left a big dent in its forehead rather than killing it. And then what you can do is use your second shot for the other leg, which by the way, shooting both of the legs out on a Hulk destroys them. So instead of a very hard to hit one shot, you can go for an almost guaranteed two shot. Now, the other thing, like I said, is this isn't necessarily useful for every situation. You gotta pick and choose when you're gonna do this. And in general, I think this is better against flamethrower hulks rather than rocket hulks. Considering that rocket hulks are usually standing still spamming at rockets at you from across the map, but maybe you wanna shoot their rocket arm off so that way you can go for a steadier shot on the eye later on. And just so you guys know, shooting the arms off doesn't lead to a kill, only shooting the eye will one-shot it or shooting both legs uh, will kill it or obviously the heat sink will kill them too. So how about devastators? Well, you need to start shooting off their weapons. Again, their eye holes are tiny. Sometimes you'll spend three, four, five seconds trying to kill one devastator, uh, especially the shielded devastator because that shield like halfway covers their eye. But each of their weapons can be one shot by the anti-material rifle, for example, which means any medium penetrating support weapon is best for devastator. Here is an amazing clip of me shooting four rocket devastators rocket pods off the top of their heads in seconds with a laser cannon, basically making them not scary at all. They just have that little pistol still left but who cares about that also i don't know how many people know this but you can shoot their weapons off with light penetrating primary weapons as well here's a clip of me shooting a weapon off with a sickle and if you ignore my bad aim in this clip you can see that it genuinely took very little bullets i just had bad aim in this clip it leave me alone but it did it pretty fast and again heavy devastators are completely useless without their single weapon machine gun arm 
They will literally just try to walk up to you and melee you, but they are very slow. And what this means is you can use any primary in the game to destroy Devastator weapons, which will come in handy way more often than you'd think, considering that this is much faster than killing them. Or if you're trying to help out a teammate and you have that side angle, just shoot off their arms for your teammate, just disable them. You don't necessarily need to hit that tiny little eye hole every time and kill them if shooting off their weapon makes them not threatening at all. So how about about tanks. Well, the only spot on a tank which was actually recommended to me by someone in the comments and I couldn't find your comment or else I would feature you. So comment down below if this was you and I'll throw you a heart. And that is to shoot their treads, aka their wheels. Now this can be done by any medium penetrating primary weapon. You could use a dominator or a slugger for example, or let's be real, the best weapon for this would be the eruptor. But obviously this is going to be better with at least a medium support weapon. The laser Laser cannon's pretty great, the auto cannon's obviously gonna be the best, and the anti-material rifle's not bad. Now, this actually cannot kill the tank. I laid in front of a tank and fired into it non-stop with my laser cannon, and it never ended up dying. But what this does do is it makes them stop driving, and they basically become completely stationary. So if you wanna run away from a tank, you can try this. But the most useful thing I realized that this did was it destroyed the traps on them that instantly kill you when you try to climb on top of one. So now you can climb on top of shredder tanks which normally would kill you and start shooting at other enemies around them with some supreme high ground it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. And like I said, I think the laser cannon is really underrated for this. The auto cannon is going to be the best and the AMR is decent at that. And just keep in mind, like I said, you could do this with any medium penetrating primary weapon. So don't sleep on that. So I really hope this video gave you ideas to start shooting enemies in different spots and just pay attention what it does to them. How does it affect their attacks? How does it affect their movement? Some of this stuff can be really handy in certain situations, not necessarily every situation shouldn't necessarily go for this every time. Although in the case of heavy devastators, you might as well shoot their machine gun off every time because it's a lot easier to aim for that and it destroys it just as quick as shooting the eye. And th those guys are completely use useless without their machine gun. I've also noticed this is semi-useful for bugs when using the eruptor. If you actually shoot the arm of a, of a lot of bugs, it'll actually blow up, hitting them in other parts of their bodies. Uh, and it lets you one-shot them when sometimes the eruptor won't one-shot them if you actually aim at their head, like brood commanders and hive guards, for example. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure shooting bug legs off really just makes them a bit slower. I don't know how useful this is against them, but I'll probably go test it out and see if we can get another good YouTube video out of it. I think against automatons, this is way more useful, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I've been doing a lot of stuff like this in my games for a while now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, like I just said. Be sure to like and subscribe to spread my content to other Helldivers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.